All right, let's try this again. All right, we're going Dark Saber. Okay, this is gonna be a Dark Saber build. I'm calling it here. We're going Dark Saber. This is gonna be a Dark Saber build. We're gonna combine it with Belladonna's Whisper. That's the play. Okay, that's the play. And we got a decent start already. Obviously, we're buying both of those. That's a no-brainer. And we're gonna get the broom, and we're gonna top it off with a pocket sand. That's how we're doing it. That's how we're doing it. Broom is gonna be carrying our DPS here for sure, because he's gonna miss with his 90% accuracy, right? Miss us. One miss is all it takes. All right, all right, all right, miss. <gasps> <Yeah>. <laughs> That was the longest pause ever. Just both of us being on one health. Whoever hits first is the winner. <laughs> he missed one time with his, with his sword too, which is kind of crazy. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, I'm gonna buy the banana and I'm gonna buy the coal and the stone. Oh, space. You can go there. You can go here. And you can go there. Let's buy one more stone. Um, and yeah, I think that's good. No. I could have put the stones inside the critical. I think that would have probably been the best way to min-max that and just put the banana on the outside. But it's moving a little bit too fast. We should be fine, though. We should be fine. Probably going to get carried by our shield again. More than likely. He already used his health potion and we're still winning, which is great. Just put more blind on this dude. Oh, nice miss. Go, broom, go. Six damage. Hell yeah. And okay, we don't want that. There we go. Good game. Good game. I will buy the pocket sand. We'll roll. Nice. Nice. Boom. Boom. Let's go ahead and switch this out as well. Um. Do I want the walrus chest over the stone? Probably, right? I could double down on spike shields if I really wanted to. Yeah, why not? And I'll also buy the garlic. I think that's good. Okay, this guy's a challenge. This guy's a challenge. He beats us in DPS, but I think we beat him in... Overtime healing, but he does have the health potion. And we did have double pocket sand, which should help us out at least a little bit with his accuracy. Um, was it 80%, 85%? 85%? So as long as he misses more than we miss, we might be okay. Nice. Ooh, and it's on sale. Yes. Now, I know I said I was going to go Belladonna's Whisper. I know. I know that's what I said. Okay? I know that's what I said. But hear me out. Just, you know, just hear me out. Roll. Hear me out. Okay? Okay. We could go Tuscan Piercer here. Tuscan Piercer. All right. It's going to do that damage. Okay? It's going to do that damage. Okay? And we can still go um, Dark Saber. We can still go Dark Saber, Belladonna's Whisper. Or, sorry, Dark Saber, Tuscan Piercer. It might not be as much DPS, potentially. Unless I can just pull a poison potion out of my ass right now. That'd be a lot of money to be pulling like that. I'm gonna give it one more. Wrong potions, almost. Wrong potions, though. <laughs> you almost had me. Um, we need space anyways in order to even put this thing on the field. So we could sell you because I kind of still want to keep the broom. I value the broom. I like the broom. So I'm going to sell the torch in order to get the big boy space to put the Belladonna's Whisper down. I keep saying that. In order to put the Tuscan Piercer down. Um, we can move this forward by one so we can kind of min-max this food situation we got going on. 
But then that means we won't be able to put the shield down, which is bad. Okay, that helped a little bit. Still not able to put the shield down though. But unless we move everything down by one like that. No. Yeah, this has to go like that in order to put the shield down. Huh. Save potions? Like the health and the stone skin potion? I mean, I could. Potentially? Maybe we don't use garlic. Okay, let's do it. Let, I'm gonna just save those just because you said so. <laughs> just because you said so. I will do it. Okay, whetstone on a torch and a wooden sword. I say we out DPS, so I feel like we should win. And we also out heal. I mean, he does have two regeneration, but I do think we should out heal. That was a nice one. Nice 20 critical. You don't like Goobert? <laughs> Why don't you like the Goobert? And he's running out of stamina too. Woo! Good game. Okay. Um. So let's just go ahead and buy that. I don't know where to put you guys though. Reserved lucky clover. Mm, maybe get a blueberry. And probably just use the health potion for now. Okay, I think that's okay. This thing does 9 to 12 damage? What the fuck? And then plus the 8 damage that it gets? I didn't know it did that much damage. That's like a 40 damage crit if you can make it. Huh! 20 damage. Give me another one. Give me another 20 damage. Huh, 26. Let's go. One more. Come on. You got the pierce. Or you, you had the pierce. I don't know what happened to it. I'll take the 19 damage, though. That's fine. We probably should win this one. Huh! <laughs> Come on. He's almost dead. Almost dead. Fate T is probably going to kill him. Honestly, even with the freaking six vampirism. Oh, no. Not looking good. Oh, no. Oh, oh, fatigue. Kill this man, fatigue. Let's go. Let's go. Banana can be out uh, for a round, maybe. Oh, yeah, that would have probably helped, to be honest. I think that would have helped a lot. <laughs> Let's get, should we get stamina sack here? We need the space, and that's like the most immediate space, so I say we just get stamina sack. And then we can do that. We need pineapples though. We're gonna need a lot of pineapples. A lot of pineapples. Lots and lots of pineapples. Going against a goober build. Not really a build, but just a goober in general. <laughs> Going against a doobert with uh double torches. He's also got the health potions on the side. I say we probably beat this guy too, I think. That was a beautiful hit. 56 critical. Use up those health potions. I think that just decided the game. Personally. Because we still got our health potion that we can use, plus our stone skin. Yep, there we go. 30! Yep. Come on. We can still do this. He does have the healing from the goober, but Fatih's kicking in. Um, we don't have any more pierce left though, but Oh, now it's missing. Come on, we can't be missing like that. We can't be missing like that. He can miss like that, but us no 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 How How is that possible? Roll Yes, please. I will take that. You know what? I'm also gonna take this customer card. 
I need another, I need to replace the broom. I'd prefer to replace it with a lightsaber, if I'm being completely honest. Not really a rip shade, you know, not really a rip shade blade type of, type of speed I'm on right now. Could I go on Thorn Whip? Yeah, but I don't like going Thorn Whip with this build. Every time I go Thorn Whip with Tusk and Piercer, I fail miserably. <laughs> I've tried it like three times. So I've opted to not do that anymore. My plan now is try to go Dark Saber, but there's a Ripshaw Blade in my face, which is looking very enticing. Unless I risk it and just roll. I've gotten super good results with it. Really? Before the stone skin nerf though? Oh, so you used it with stone skin potions. Like you just use like a bunch of stone skin potions in order to get the pierce or the thorns in order to turn it into a... Well, no, you just use it with the thorns, right? Yeah, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. And then it was like, yeah, we can't have that happen anymore. <laughs> All right, poison build, it seems. A little bit of poison build. Hungry blade broom on a reaper. Hmm. Hopefully we can take this guy down with our spikes. Nice critical. Nope, 27 damage. That's fine though, that's fine. That's fine. You're critting right here. Big critical right here. You missed, okay. All right, what's your accuracy? 90, how are you missing with 90 accuracy? Please stop missing. And you already used up all your thorns and everything. What's there actually 65, 60? Ours is 80, 90. But even so, that 12 poison is probably just gonna be enough to kill us. More than likely. And then they also got their healing. Big Sag. That's fine though, that's fine. Okay, hear me out. Poison Ivy. Lightsaber. Roll. Damn it. I was hoping for a, um, <laughs> hoping for a pineapple. Um, we're gonna have to switch this entire situation around a few. Cause we need, we need three regeneration <laughs> to inflict that seven, but we're getting no regeneration, which is extremely unfortunate. We should have thought about that. <laughs> yeah. Sell your broom now and let's roll. We definitely need space so we can get that eventually. I say we just keep it like this. Maybe we just get that space eventually. Um, let's see here. Let's use you for the potions instead. We can use you here for both of these actually. Customer car can go right there as well. And then this entire left section is gonna be for poison ivy. I don't know what I just did, but I fucked up everything. <laughs> Okay, boom. Um, let's see. I think one up is probably a better play. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And um, maybe like that potentially. Maybe we're not gonna be able to fill up everything. It doesn't seem. I mean, we could do that instead. With the blueberry right there, right? And... Unless we move this space... Up here, instead. That helps us out a lot, actually. So then we can do this. And then the other blueberry can really just go right there. Or even up there. <clears throat> or even right there. Yeah, okay, that works for me. Well, yeah, that works for me. And then the rest of these slots can just be all of these items. Just like that. Okay, 
I just wish we had a freaking third generation to utilize the uh, the lightsaber as much as possible as we can. Okay, versus a great sword, an early great sword. I say we beat this guy. Just because I have no faith in great sword. <laughs> it's a pretty early great sword. Holy 54 critical. That's gonna help us. Ah. Okay, one more hit from that great sword would have died. <laughs> Ooh, and it was on sale. Roll. Hmm. <clears throat> Should we go for that? No, we need pineapple. We need just a better thorn generation situation right now, right? Yeah, I don't think we get this. Unless we go for jewels and poison, poison jewels, maybe. Because what other debuffs are we going to be able to inflict? We can't inflict debuffs right now. And that's what our main DPS is going to be is from the Dark Saber. And we can't inflict debuffs because we have no pineapple. So I say we probably just go box of riches. And we just hope for green jewels in the next few rounds. And that's pretty much all we can do, I think. Yeah, I think that's all we can do versus an Excalibur. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. I wonder why he's not using his cursed dagger on the Excalibur. He's using it on the dagger dagger? Weird. But okay. Hmm. We can also get the cursed armor. So when we get a debuff on us, we can just inflict it back on the opponent. That's, that's pretty expensive, but I mean, it could help potentially, especially in a situation like this. So far, so good, though. Yippee. Hell yeah, 32 critical. That was nice. That was a good game. That was a good game. Now we got the dark saber. Whoop, whoop. Use one mana to inflict one. What you call it? That's actually not that bad. Um, Pescalus flask. Um... Seven gold. Nah, I don't I don't think. I don't think Pesco's Flask is going to be all that great. Hmm. The Pocket Sand could be okay, maybe. I'll buy it. Okay, there goes the Pineapple. I need you. I need that Pineapple. Where am I going to put you, though? Let's see. I guess I could just do this. The faster the pineapple, the better, right? You can also sell this gym. We don't really need it, right? Because, I mean, attacking the health directly would be kind of nice. To be fair, we could also just buy the ship sapphire. But the. The mana, we're gaining mana from the blueberries already, which the Dark Saber can just use that from the blueberries. So it doesn't really matter for the mana part portion. Um, I kind of just want to figure out if I can use this box of jewels, if I can sell something to get the stamina sack. It might be too much though, because we have to sell three gold worth for items. So maybe that's not worth. Likewise, we could just go another blueberry, but eh. I'd probably say the chipped, the sapphire is a little bit better. Yeah, I think the sapphire is a little bit better. Um, whoops. Let's see here. I, I want to use this box of jewels so badly right now. I really do. Buy a second card to reflect the debuff. Oh. Oh, you're talking about to to get this, right? For like two debuffs for each uh, legendary, godly, or unique item. Okay, that might not be too bad to be honest. We can use that on the um, on both of these because this one's what legendary. That's a legendary, and that's a godly, and it works on the on the legendaries and godlies. Yeah, and we get to uh, reflect four debuffs for because of that. That was a good call. Um, I might as well just sell the banana now. Yeah, sell the banana. Let's get the customer card. And get that combination off. Do I even need the blueberry? I don't think so. Yeah, I'm gonna pass on that blueberry. Good with Darksaber? True, I didn't even think about that. Good call, good call. 
This guy had a present. I was wondering why his build looks so weird. I think we beat this guy. I mean, he's got Shield of a lore, Holy Spear. He's got the Poison Goober, but that's really about it. Um, for some reason, we're not inflicting debuffs on him. Unless he's just cleansing our debuffs because of Holy Spear. Or yeah, cleanse one debuff for each spot in front. So he's cleansing four debuffs. Man. And we just missed two. No. Holy Spear. Our Kryptonite. get that um do i want the flaw toe pass 15 percent faster hmm. i can get it to make the tuscan piercer faster i don't think that would be a bad play roll we can also get the kappa resilience combine it with the flawed amethyst and get space i think that's decent let's just not go against another holy spear Okay. Going against a Bloodthorn with minimal regeneration. Looks mainly like poison. He's got like no regeneration except for the potions. He's going to get what? Two, four, six. It's gonna, not going to be enough for the hard container. So we should be fine. He has nothing that cleanses our debuffs at all. So we should be inflicting a lot of debuffs on this dude. With our poison, um, which he just cleansed. But I mean, we still got the blind on him. Plus the cold from... The chip sapphires. I forgot about the clove. So the chip sapphires are actually pretty damn good. I was considering not getting them. But yeah, we should beat this guy. 65% back, yeah. Good game. Ooh. Oh, the seven debuffs inflicted. Hmm. What do you do again? Nullify a buff or your healing is reduced versus... Critical prevention and stun prevention. Um. Please, kind sir, tell your first experience playing this game. Why? It is absolutely horrific. <laughs> I hate it. I'm just playing this game is amazing. Should I get the life still? I, I have to get this. It's eight. It's on sale. I'm gonna get it. I kind of do want to get the Corrupted Crystal because we're inflicting debuffs. That's our build is literally inflicting debuffs. So gaining that six uh, resistance for each debuff inflicted might not be bad. So I say we get that. And I kind of also want to get the Lucky Clover because the more Lucky Clover we have, the higher our crit chance. You know what I mean? It's like a WW situation. So I'm gonna get that too. I'm gonna just roll with that. How was your first game? Was well, horrific because I sucked hard. <laughs> I have no healing. Why put it on the shield? I didn't know where else to put it. You're probably right though. The only healing I have is probably the health potion plus a banana. But even so, that it, we would benefit more from the life still at 35%. But I didn't know if I wanted to remove the 15% faster than a bow and arrow, which I probably should have. It's only 15%. TBH. That and like. I kind of wanted to have both of the blue jewels, but I think it would have been better to just use that life steal. Oh, we're out of stamina. Oh, we got a stamina problem. I didn't realize it until now. Definitely got ourselves a stamina problem because that moon shield. Damn it. Um, I guess it would be better on there. And this would be better on town. This would be better on here too. Damn shields. I know, right? <gasps> Got another pineapple. I think I buy that. The more pineapples, the more better. Um, should I get rid of my health potion situations now? Or no?
We're also lacking in stamina, so making this faster might not even be worth it. Might just be worth it putting the chipped emerald on there. For even more debuffs. I think that'll be better until we can figure out stamina, like get a bunny or something. Hmm. I kind of do want to sell the potions. I'm being completely honest. I want to sell the potions. Um... Kill him. <laughs> I'm gonna sell the potions. Sell the potions. Get the fanny pack and the flawed amethyst. I'm gonna try to use it on here. On the banana. So all and go piggy build. Never. Hello. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, we'll go with this. We'll see how this goes. Fortuna's Grace Bloodthorn. Okay, decent amount of regeneration. Okay, 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 okay. He also has a Shield of Aelor. That's gonna hurt us on our stamina, but we did make our banana faster though. And we made our uh, bow and arrow slower. So hopefully that helps us a lot. That was a nice 56 critical. What's our crit chance? 22%. That is not good. But we're putting on a bunch of blind and poison on them though. And that's good. The more debuffs we put on, the more DPS we can do. Which we're looking at, what, 18 to 23 right now? This dude's doing 25 to 28. That was a good game. That was a good game. And now... We can get the Flawless Emerald. Don't really care about this one. Um, I think I'm a pass. Can I get me a shield of Aelor? Ivy as happy as possible. Very important. I mean, it is. Unless I move the Dark Saber. Um, I'm sorry. I mean, I could actually move the dark saber and get this fanny pack and move it like down here. Do that. That doesn't hurt anything, right? That's pretty much the same. Oh, the pineapples. Oh, this would be better. This would be better. This would be way better. Well, not really way better, but still better. Especially if I can use it with the other pineapple or uh, maybe this and move the pineapple down here. Yes, sir. That works. Now we just got to figure out a food situation on this side. Um, we can move. Well, no, we can't. Can move this down. Do like that. And um, that can go there and then double blueberry like that. So that's got one. That's got three. Get a nice combination going right there. We can also uh, get a nice combination going right there for no reason. And get me a shield of a lore whenever the game wants to. Hopefully soon. Perfect. Hell yeah. So we got the 60% chance to inflict two poison, which is great. We also got the life steal. And then this thing is giving us that, uh, that slowness and mana for the... Dark Saber? I just want me a shield of Aelor. <laughs> That's the only thing I care about right now. In a little bit more space. Going against a Bloodthorn with a bunch of Gloves of Haste. That's one fast Bloodthorn. And he's got stamina too. Look at the regeneration on that guy. One, two, three, four, five, six. Generation? Jesus. What's your accuracy? 70%. The accuracy debuff is going to be almost everything to us right now. Because as long as he's missing, his damage doesn't matter. And look at the poison we're putting on now. Now that we got the Flawless Emerald. That's a lot That's a lot more poison. That is a lot more poison. A lot more poison versus what we did before. We might as well get this other crap, the crystal. Um, I mean, we could get the boots. Just so we can have another slot to put on. For that 7 debuffs inflicted. Gives us um, better survivability. Considering it's not giving us a shoot of Valor or anything. 
From the type bros, boots of speed. Yeah, let's get the boots. Roll. Finally, it gives me the shield of Aelor, which uh, we can't really get because we bought the boots. I can sell that for four. That'll give me eight, but I need four more. So I want all three of those as well. I want all three, but I'm not really sure where to put this one. Here we go. All right, that works. That works. Corrupted helmet. I was thinking about it, but I... I don't know. I kind of like that. I don't know. It depends on the build you're going against. Because the corrupted helmet gives you that uh, healing res is reduced situation, right? And stuff. But I, I kind of want to use the debuffs. The seven debuffs inflicted gain six block versus not having that. Because now it's double. So instead of six block, we gain 12 for every or for each six debuffs that we inflict. You know what I mean? It's either that or I go to corrupt the helmet. But I mean, if I get like a third one, then probably would be better because you have three. You know, I don't think you need more than two corrupted crystals. Because the more corrupted crystals you gain inside the same slot, the less effective each one is. That was a good game. I don't even know what he rocked, but <laughs> kind of destroyed him, which is great. Did I play the beta? I didn't. I didn't play Skull and Bones. What was the other thing this thing did? 15% chance to nullify a buff. Ooh, I forgot about corrupted armor. Huh. I would like a corrupted armor. Skill issue. Cause <laughs> so, did you play the beta? No, skill issue. <laughs> My god. Holy shit. I've got a skill issue. <laughs> Um, I guess this can go here. No, this is, yeah, that's better. And Bunny, don't have money for you. Well, technically I could have money for you, I guess. If I just sold some things. Let's sell both of these jewels. Hmm. Sell this one. Do I even care about this jewel? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't care about you. And then I can sell a blind. I kind of want this to build up this one to resist that poison. It's the only reason I care about it. So I'm going to sell a blind to buy you. Okay. That'll do good. Oh my god. 35 cent life still and a 35% faster. I'd be more scared if it was the blue one. But still, that's pretty damn nasty. He's got double whopper, a max out leaf. He's got the pineapple. He's got the critical blood goober. Yeah, that's a scary dude. That is a scary dude. A very scary dude. Very scary. All we need is a little bit of mana. Build up that blind. Cause he's got what four clovers, right? Accuracy is 90%. All we need him to do is miss. If he misses, his damage means nothing, okay? All you need to do is miss for me. 85%, keep it going down. And we're dealing more DPS to him, too. But that was a big heal. 80% still, okay. Woo! That was a huge heal. I don't know, this, this build might be a little stronger than I thought it was. <laughs> might be a little bit stronger. I was expecting to win. Might be a tad bit stronger. I, I'm not complaining, though. I do like it. Um, maybe I should get Corruptic Armor. Ooh, Acorn Collar. That can help with crit for sure. Acorn! <laughs> I do want to Corrupted Armor. It's, it's probably too late, though. If I were to get it, it would have to be this round. We don't have enough money for it. So combinations don't matter anymore, except for this one. Well, kind of. I guess this one doesn't matter either. Roll. We can get the carrot for no reason.
because we definitely do not have five clovers. So we would just be cleansing a random debuff every four seconds and making our pineapple faster, I guess. There's that. <laughs> Acorn was a good call, though. That is looking very symmetrical. <laughs> Blood Goober, double burning torch, double ruby whelp. He's gonna have a lot of speed. Gonna have a lot of speed. He's got a lot of health too. Ooh, buddy. Ooh, buddy. It's not looking very great right now. It's not, it's not looking very great right now. No. Is torch are torches underrated or something? Am I missing something here? <laughs> Hold up, wait, wait, wait. How did he get the empowerment? How did he get the empowerment? Am I tripping? I don't know how he got empowerment. Oh, from no, no, it wasn't from this. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know how he got six empowerment. Do you guys know how he got six empowerment? Is it from? No. Yeah, I've got no idea. How much do the hearts? Oh, fuck my brain. You're right. It's the hearts. I forgot what the hearts did. Okay. So yeah, the hearts gave him the empowerment. God damn it. How did he beat us so badly? Is it just from the heat? Every 0.9 seconds? And then from, um... I gotta look at this. A 46 critical? So the burning torches and ruby whelps, plus the blood goober. Cause he beat us like bad, badly. Like that wasn't close. <laughs> but I guess the the increased damage from the heart containers. Um, Cause you need seven regen, you get two from there. And then I guess just over time, the heart container is giving me the extra regen. The luck from the piercing arrow, heat is just good in general. Cause we got beat kind of badly. Man, I, I don't know. I Every time I see like a, a build where it's just burning torches, I'm thinking, okay, it's just a burning torch. It's not that great. You end up losing because it's like, what? All it took, two burning torches and a few ruby whelps on a crit build. Huh. That's a very interesting build. I do like it though. I can't knock it. Let's see. Let's see. Getting another blueberry wouldn't be bad. Yeah. Six empowerment on four speed weapons is pretty big. Yeah. That is very true. But in that case, you can literally win with just any type of weapon. Because those weapons aren't particularly strong. But, like, if you just have a weapon with six, you know, empowerment on it, right? Let's say the damage is, like, 15, and it's, like, 100% chance of crit. You're doing 30 damage every, like, 0.1 second. Or, like, every one second you're doing 30 damage. You have four of those weapons. That's, like, 120 damage every second. Versus, like, something like this, you know what I mean? This is still good, though. But, you know... I'm gonna roll. I don't think I need more pineapples. I think any more pineapples would just be overkill on pineapples. Um, another corrupted crystal could be cool. I mean, it's only a 15% chance. Just the debuffs. But not every weapon gives heat. That is true, too. That is true. Increases the speed and everything. 
Plus combined with the dragons that also give heat and they don't use stamina. I think it's a solid. This is my first time doing a very successful uh, Dark Saber build. <laughs> so I'm kind of happy about this one. I wonder if it would have been better if I did Belladonna's Whisper. A little bit more difficult to get, but it would have benefited from the poison as well. Yeah. Let's roll with it. See how we do. What are we going against? Ugh. What is this creature? Triple mana thirst. He's also got moon shield and a bunch of block. Vampiric armor, heart container. Slow this one down a little bit. Oh my god. Look at the buffs this dude has. That's a lot of buffs. Probably because the proccing of the mana orbs. A proccing mana orb is no... Nothing to joke about. He's also got uh, the bird, so we're not going to be critting at all. He's eating up our clovers like crazy. The accuracy on the mana thirst by itself is also really good, so we're definitely not going to be betting on the missing. I think his main form of DPS is probably coming from healing. More than likely, it's probably just coming from that healing. Because the mana thirst by themselves don't do that much damage, right? But I mean, he is going to crit, so they are doing that 30 damage, but the healing, I I think the healing it's what's really getting it. Our Dark Saber is putting in that work, though. 70 critical, 40... um. 40 poison? Damn, we needed a crit right there. One more hit and we're dead, I think. And we're out of stamina a lot, too. That was a nice heal. We can tank a critical hit, but that's really about it. Woo! Woo! Buddy, 104? Damn. That was close. We ended up doing 104 damage to dude, though. Let me see this damage. 190, 180. Yep. What about that healing? Yep, 200 healing, 100 healing. I think the most of the damage came from that healing. So many hearts on those builds. Heart to burst. Oh yeah, 18 regeneration. 11 of vampirism. I'm surprised he didn't have any bunnies. If he had bunnies, he would have been a lot stronger, I think. 11 empowerment. Just from the mana orbs. This combination plus the mana orbs. You know what I mean? Um, Having triple, triple mana thirst. So as soon as you gain that 20 uh, mana, boom, 10 life still, 10, 10, 10, 30 damage. Increase with vampirism. So that's really like 20, 20, 20, 60 damage. And all that heals you as well. Imagine being able to get that many mana orbs. He had seven mana orbs, bro. Tell me about it. How much damage did I do? I did... Oops. 500 <laughs> from my dark saber. 276 from poison. I'm surprised I didn't do that much from the Tuscan Piercer. I don't know. That makes me question the Tuscan Piercer. Because imagine I had Belladonna's Whisper instead. That thing was doing 43 to 46. Damn it. Wow. Wow. 43 to 40 freaking 6. But I think that's all. That, it only works in one hit, right? That's the only way the Tuscan Piercer works. So within that three second, within that three second time frame, I think my Dark Saber did. What is it? Next attack deals plus eight damage. Wait, yeah, no, mind. Yeah, so that thing was like, what was that eight sixteen thirty two, something like that. So I think I I believe the way that it works is every time the Dark Saber hits, it adds eight more damage to the Tuscan Piercer. And then the Tuscan Piercer hits, it does whatever damage it does, but then it resets its damage back to whatever the base damage is. And then it counts how many times it does it again. And then, you know, I think that's how the Tuscan Piercer works. 600 damage total. We did a lot of damage, though, for sure. Oh, wow. We actually healed a decent bit, too. 182 health from the perfect ruby but yeah their healing was just 
He did 300 damage. Well, actually, it was three, four, five, pretty much 600 damage from healing alone. And then not, not counting the damage that the actual mana thirst do themselves. I want to much be a goober dude. Looks so cute. He's talking about the goobers looking cute. <laughs> but yeah, they had a pretty good build. Triple freaking mana thirst, triple mana orb, moon shield, and pick like. It's a pretty damn good build. It was a nice game, anyways. True. I'm happy I was able to get a Dark Saber build going. I kind of want to try it again with like a Belladonna's Whisper, you know, just just a little bit. Just want to, you know, just want to try it just a little bit. Just a little. But getting a Belladonna's Whisper early is pretty damn difficult. It's pretty damn difficult. Pretty damn difficult. Good game, though. Am I at my peak? I think I'm at my peak. 50. I think my last peak was like 40 something, like a 43 or something. I'm halfway there. 